All right, so we have our home page and our question page UI complete. Um, there's just a few more pages we need to create. So if we go to our structure, uh, we might as well get those out of the way now. So we'll create these. And I'll explain what each one does. Okay, so we're going to have a final.php. And this is just going to be the view where you complete the test and it tells you congratulations, it tells you your score, things like that. All right. Okay, so the next one we're going to create is going to be called process.php. And this basically won't have a view, it's just going to process our answer and add it to the score variable. Um, there's no view. It, it, it'll just do a redirect to um, either the next question or the final page. Alright, so next we need another PHP file called database.php and this is going to be our database connection file. Alright, now this structure here isn't very uh, complex. Um, if you're building a, a bigger app, a bigger production application, you want to you want to uh, kind of categorize each file and put them in subfolders, and we'll look into that uh, later on, especially in the black, the, the black, sorry, the blog project. Uh, we'll have a, a big structure with classes, um, and we'll be doing more object-oriented stuff. Um, so the last one I want to create here is basically our admin page called add.php, and it's just going to be a form where we can actually add. Um, quizzes to the database through the browser. All right, so let's start here with final. Okay, so I'm going to copy the markup from the question page. Also, uh, when you get into bigger apps and uh, more advanced stuff, you don't want to have this this doc type and and all the the head stuff in every page like we're doing. You can see how every page has that. Uh, what you want to do generally is is, is um, create maybe a, a file called header.php and then put the header in there and then just include it in each page. And we're going to get into that. Uh, I just wanted this first project to be really simple. All right. So let's go ahead and get rid of the main content in, within the container. Okay, so in the container, I'm going to add an H2, and we're just going to say, um, you're done. And then let's have a couple paragraph. We'll say, congrats, you have completed the test. And then we'll have our final score uh, for now we'll just say five and then I also want a, a link to um, retake it so that'll go to question.php and it'll go to number one Class start. All right, so let's take a look at the final page. Okay, so that's what the final page will look like. Very simple. So now we want to do the add page. Okay, so actually let's just copy, we'll copy the index page. All right, so we're gonna have a form here. Let's add a header. Okay, and we're gonna 
open a form tag. So form method is going to be post action is actually going to be this page. So add dot PHP. Okay, so inside of the form, we'll have a paragraph and a label. So this will be the question number field. We're going to let the user define the question numbers. That way they can actually edit the order and things like that. Okay, so we're going to have an input type. We're going to use the HTML5 number attribute. And then the name. The name we'll say is question number. And then um, that's it for now. Okay. And since it's the number field, we can use the arrow as well, which is nice. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this. And the next one is going to be question text. Okay, so this the type is going to be text. And this will be text. All right, so Let's copy this. Okay, next we're going to have choice number one. Let's put semicolon, I'm sorry, put colons here. So choice one is going to be text and the name is going to be choice one. All right, and we're going to have five of these choices. Two. Three. This will be what? One, two, three, okay, four, and this will be five. All right, so that's all the choices. And then we're going to have one more input field. And that's going to be called correct choice number. Okay, so they're going to enter the number, whichever one of these is correct they're going to enter that number so we're going to change this to a number type and we're going to call this correct choice okay and then of course we want to submit button Submit, and then we'll give it a value of submit. All right, so let's check out the form. All right, so it looks a little messed up. Um, actually, the submit, we have to put the type should be button. I'm sorry, submit. All right, so let's edit this a little bit with CSS. I want the label, no matter how long, I want it, I want the, the input boxes to start at the same point. So what we need to do is make these labels an inline block in our CSS file. Okay, so I'll just go up here and say label display inline block and let's give it a width of 180 pixels alright that looks a lot better 
and I want to style these input boxes a little bit. I want to make all of them longer, all the text boxes longer, and the, the numbers, question number and correct choice number, I want to make a little shorter. Okay, so in our CSS, we'll say input. Okay, so we'll use this CSS3 selector. All right, so we can say type equals text. So this will apply only to inputs with the type of text. All right, so let's say with 97% of its container, we'll put some padding, uh, border, radius, we'll make five pixels, and of course we need a border, one pixel, Right. Okay, so there's our text. Now for the number, let me copy this. Okay, so the width for the number, let's just do a fixed, we'll do 50 pixels. Padding, everything else is good. All right, so that'll do it for our form. Now, as far as being responsive, uh, all right, so what I wanna do is, I wanna add a media query, so when the window is, clo is smaller, I want less space on the sides. All right, so let's go ahead and add a just a simple media query at the bottom here. Say media only screen and max width. We'll say 960. So anything under 960, we're going to set the width. I'm sorry, we're going to set the container. with a width of 80%. All right, so let's try that. All right, there we go. That looks really good. So this is a, is a fine mobile app. Um, if, you, if you could actually add on to this and then create a mobile app, that would be um, pretty pretty cool. So that's good for now. Uh, that's the user interface. Uh, in the next video, we'll get into um, adding our PHP code and interacting with the database.